Hi everyone outside there that is watching us on BTN TV, uh, this program. For those who have been following us, you know what is always done at this time. Well, my name is Teacher Fred from Wisdom Center School, located in Vujasela District, Narama Sector, within Kalumuna. Director of Studies, at the same time teaching mathematics. Yes, without wasting a lot of time, before I kick off with my lesson, I would like to pass this simple message to our viewers outside there. Dear our viewers outside there, we already recognize your follow and as you are following, I would like to pass this simple message concerning our school. Our school is located within Bujasela here and it is offering quality services that really shape your child morally, academically at a fair and a friendly fee of only 70000 right away from baby class to P6. Please, interest us with your children. Online registration is going on. As you interest us with your children, as you trust us with them, we are also trying to play all our level best to make sure that we yield the results which really pleases all the sides. Once you trust us with your children, you will not regret. Just like I always give the of last year's performance, I always say we managed academically to, uh, to produce 90.5 first graders and out of that percentage, 35% came out with five aggregates. Already, those who missed the first grade, they came out with the 16 aggregates, none got 17 and above. So I think basing on that, we are worth it to be trusted with your child. We shall do our best to make sure we reach the point that parents really admire from us. So let's look at the, today's lesson again. I want us to look at rounding of numbers or whole numbers using a number line. That's what we are going to look at today. Last time we looked at how just rounding off without a number line, but this time round, I have specified we want to see how we can round off those digits using a number line. So I want us to see. So when we look at the question, first example says round off 73 million, round off 73 million, 600, 38,467 to the nearest thousand. To the nearest thousand. So when you look at this, they want us to use a number line. And as we are using a number line, there are some principles that we should put in consideration before we start working out the number. When we are rounding up digits, we always group them into two groups. We have digits that range from zero up to four. This is the low limit. It always rounds down to zero. We have got another group or category from five moving toward up to nine. These digits always round up by adding one. So the lower limit in most cases, it always rounds down the number. While the second class, it always rounds up the number. So this is what I would prefer to call as the lower class, or the first class, then the second class will be this. So the first group always lower, rounds down. Always rounds down. 
Then, when we come to the second group, it always rounds, uh, it always rounds up. This, the first class rounds down, the second class rounds up. So from there, we shall first of all, after identifying the two classes, then we shall also consider what we call required place value. Required place value. All those three things are very important in any question concerning rounding of, of digits. So let's look at this. We shall first of all copy our digit or our number as 73 million 638,467. This will be the number that was given. So we want to look at this. They said round off 73 million 638,467 to the nearest thousand. So we need to use a number line to round off this. But before we use the number line, we need to identify the place values of each digit in this number. After identifying the place value of each digit in this number then, we shall be in a position to identify the required place value. So in this case we shall say, seven will take the position of ones, followed by tens, hundreds, thousands, ten, thousand, a hundred, thousand, uh, we shall come to million, then from there we shall have 10 millions. After identifying all the place values of everything, then we are in position to identify the required place value. Now we come to this concept, required place value. We have to identify which place value is required in a question. Now we shall start from uh, ones to identify the required place value. So when we come to seven, is not what is required. This question says the round of seventy-three million six hundred eight thirty-eight thousand four hundred sixty-seven to the nearest thousand. So we need to identify the place value or the digit which is under the place value of a thousand. Therefore, I will come here and say they didn't want the required place value is not ones. Then I will leave this on the right. The place value is not the place value is not tens. I will leave that place value. The place value is not four. I'll continue on my right. I'll come to eight. Eight is under the place value of thousand. So there, if they talked of a thousand, then the required place value is a thousand, which is here. So what does it mean? We are going to round off everything what is in this side, we bring it to eight. Because the required place value is a thousand. But whenever you are finding the place, uh, rounding of digits, what do we consider most? we consider the next place value. The required place value and the next place value. So in this case, we shall look at our eight at the same time the digit which is neighboring this eight. And this is now four. Remember that he said we round off using a number line. So I'll come here and draw my number line first of all. After identifying the place value, I'll have to draw my number line. 
When I draw my number line, when I draw my number line, I'll come here and say, I have zero, one, two, three, four, followed by five, followed by six, followed by seven, followed by eight, lastly, nine. From nine, we shall come to ten, and so on. So let's look at this number line of ours. When you look at this number line, you'll realize that we have started from zero up to five, uh, up to nine, for this case. Remember, we have the next place value here. It is, I mean, the next digit there, it will be 10. So what we shall need to do, I want us to identify the required place value. Remember, from here, from here, from five, this group here, we have two groups now. We have two groups here. Here is the first group we are talking of, from zero up to four. We said this one rounds down to zero. Then from five to nine, they round to uh, they round up and add to one. Why do you think so? That from here up to here we are adding zero. We look at this limits basing on this. We say from zero to four, this distance here, if you compare the two distances, from five to come to ten, you realize that five to ten is nearer than zero to four. From here up to here, coming to 10 is very far. But from here up to here, coming to 10 is very near. The closest distance of this limit here, the, the second limit is a bit closer to 10 than the first limit. So when you look at the question, we shall have to identify our digit that we need to round off in the number. We shall have to identify the digit that we are supposed to round off in the number. Now our number line. And that will be, we have got four. Remember we are here. We said, they wanted us to round off this number to the required place value is thousand. So if it is thousands, we know very well that from zero up to four, always we add zero. And from five to nine, we always add one. That is what you have to put in mind first. Then, after them, when you look at our number line, we have drawn it up there. That is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I want us to look at these digits here. We have two groups. Remember, we divide it from this one. We are going to not round off the nearest digit, which is four. We round it off to a thousand. And when you look at our number line, when you look at our number line, we are now going to round this digit here. These ones, they are already canceled. Once you round off this, everything here will become zero, zero. That's why we cross them out. And either we are rounding off now from four, 
to, uh, from hundreds we are bringing to thousands. When you check on our number line, we shall say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want us to identify four. Remember, we have two groups. I want us to identify this four here. It's the one we're identifying. So it is here. You will come and put here a star. That star is simply identifying where four is. Now, when you look at this four here, it is in the first limit. And we know with the first limit, we always add zero. So after identifying this, I'll ask myself, the distance which have, which have remained from 4 to come to 10 and the distance that uh, I've covered from here up to here, which one is more? I've covered my distance from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. But remember, the last distance I was to reach 10. So when you compare the steps we have moved and the steps that have remained, which ones are more? If the ones which have remained are less, then we add one. But if the remaining distance is more, then we have to add a zero. For example here, we have moved four steps. Let's see how many steps are remaining. From here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the remaining distance is too much. So if the remaining distance is too much, it means we shall add zero. But if the remaining distance to 10 is too less, is less than, the remaining distance is less than what you have covered, then there we add one. But the remaining, if the remaining distance is more than the distance you have covered, then there we add zero. So from there, I'll come here and say, here we have rounded here from, uh, for, this four is rounded and it has added here zero. If it has added there zero, then I'll have my seven, three, six, three, eight, four, six, seven. Then I'll round four to this because I've used around my four. According to our number line, we have said here to be zero. So when I round this, I said all this will be cancelled. If they are cancelled, then we shall have to add this. 8 plus 0, it will give us 8. Remember here we have nothing, here we have nothing, we have nothing. Then here we have 3, we have 6, we have 3, we have 7. So this number will be approximately or rounded down. It is rounded down to, it is rounded down to, 73 million 638,000. That is where we shall round to. We have now, it has now been rounded down to this figure here. Meanwhile, let's look at the second example and we'll see what does it want us to do. So let's look at example two and we'll look at it then we we'll compare with the first example. Uh, when we look at number two, they have also said the round of 748 million 634,848 to the nearest 100,000. So I want us to see how can we round off such a number to the required place value. First of all, we shall need to identify the place values of each digit and the required place value. So I'll first of all have to copy my question here. As four, eight, six, six, three, four, eight, four, eight. Then I will have my number line at the same time. This will be my number line. This will be my number line. So I will say this will be zero. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That will be 
our number line. So after drawing our number line, remember we have two classes or two units. We say that the first of the first thing we need to do is to identify the place value of each digit. More so, we are targeting for the required place value, and the required place value is a hundred thousand. So I will say this will take the place value of ones, tens, hundreds, a thousand, ten thousand. Then here we shall have a hundred thousand. I can as well stop here because this is what they want, a hundred thousand. So I've identified already the place value which is required. So if that is what is required, then what I need to do is to first of all consider the next place value, which is this. So this will first of all change directly to zeros. Then from there, I'm going to round off this form. So if I'm to round off that form, what will happen? I'll say, first of all, I have to identify four on the number line. I'll say zero, one, two, three, four. I'll have to put there my star to identify. I've now identified it. So after identifying this, I'll ask myself, does four lie under the lower limit or upper limit? Because we have only two limits. So if it happens that it is under the lower limit, then I have to add zero. But if it is in the upper limit, I will have to add one. So you realize that according to limits from zero to four, the first limit here we add zero. Then we say from five to nine, this is the second limit where we add one. So let's see. Our number will be seven, four, eight, six, three, four, eight, four, eight. That was our number, and we identified the required place value, which is a hundred thousand, which was a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand. Ones, tens, and hundreds, and thousands. A thousand. A thousand. Sorry, let's, let's, let's look at this, sorry. Here we are not supposed to identify this. We are rounding off from the next place value. Remember, this is not what is required. The required place value is a hundred thousand, which is a hundred thousand, not ten thousand. Sorry for that. Let me, let's just look at it and we'll start afresh from here. Just from here. We had identified a different place value, yet we need to identify a different place value as well. So what we shall need to do, we shall have to draw our number line first. The number line, is, the number is seven, four, eight, six, three, Four, eight, four, eight. Shall I say one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. So after identifying that, I want us to give them the place values. So their place values, we shall say the first one here will be ones, tens, hundreds, a thousands, ten, thousand, a hundred. Thousand. So the required place value according to our question it is a hundred thousand. So I'll identify this a hundred thousand. After identifying a hundred thousand, then we shall have to come and consider the neighbor. We shall consider that neighbor of that place value. So I'll come here eh? and first draw my number line, which will range from zero up to nine. So I have zero, I have one, I have two, I have three, I have four, I have five, I have six, I'll have seven, I'll have eight, I'll have nine. So from there, we also need to identify the two classes. 
the lower class or the lower limit where we start from zero up to four. We said here we shall always round it down and we shall be giving it zero. Then the second limit we shall always have five to nine, which will always add one. So from there, we shall come to the neighbor whom we need to round off now to the next required place value. So we have three, we want to round off three. It will come to six when we round this three off. And now as we round off, first of all, we shall need to consider this. Let's plot our three. This is what we are now identifying on the number line. We shall say one, uh, the first one is zero, followed by one, two, three. So this is the digit which we have identified. So I'll say three is in a lower limit. Is in a lower limit. Hence, adds zero. Hence, rounds, hence, rounds down or adds zero. Hence, adds adds zero when rounding rounding off when he rounding off so we have identified the three where it is and adds zero when you're rounding meaning that since it is in lower class I've said three is in a lower class or limit hence adds zero when rounding off. Meaning that when we have our seven, four, eight, six, three, four, eight, four, eight. If you have that and we need not round off, remember we are rounding off now this three. The three is rounded to this. Remember we are with a hundred thousand. So if we are dealing with a hundred thousand, we know our a hundred thousand is here, but this one is what we have rounded off. And when we round it off, we said it will bring zero, it will add zero. So when we are rounding off, all this will now be affected. Okay, then I'll come here and give out my answer. Since this is we are rounding everything from this side, bringing this way, then all this will turn into zero, including this three itself. Now that side we have zero, zero. We don't have this because it has been rounded. It, we have rounded this three, we have brought it here, so every, it has affected everything to cancel out into zero. So from there, I will say here I'm remaining with zero, 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 zero. That is zero. Then we shall have here six plus zero to give us six. Then eight, four, seven. One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. So I'll come here and say, there are four, seven hundred forty, Eight million six hundred thirty four thousand eight hundred forty eight is rounded is rounded to is rounded of to seven four eight six zero 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 full stop and i will have to underline my answer we will say one two three comma one two three comma so when you look at this number we shall say seven hundred forty eight millions six hundred thirty four thousand eight hundred forty eight is rounded off to seven hundred forty-eight million six hundred 
thousand. So when you look at this number, it has rounded down. It has rounded down. Let's look at the next number here. When you look at the first number and the second number, you realize that everything is the same, though the explanation of the first example and the second example uh, looks to be somehow different. But all in all, they give us the same. What is required so much on a number line is to identify the digit, which is next to the required place value. The digit that you are going to round off to the next digit or the required place value. From there, I would also like us to look at this example three. Example three. Example three says round of round of seven nine two nine nine eight six to the nearest near to the nearest ten thousand so we are going to round off that's our next number that was required to be Rounded off. We need to round off seven million nine hundred twenty-nine thousand nine hundred eighty-six to the nearest ten thousand. So the first thing we shall need to identify the place values of each digit, whereby we have shall have seven, nine, two, nine, nine, eight, six. This is ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, then we have million. One has to look at that. The first thing we need to do is to identify the required place value, and the required place value in this case we have ten thousand. So this will be the required place value. After identifying that, we now need to come and draw our number line. We need to come and draw our number line. We shall have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So when you look at this, this is our required place value. Now, if that is our required place value, we are going to round off from this side, bringing to the required place value. And uh, if we are going to round off in that way, we shall need to first of all identify the digit that we are going to round off. And in this case, if we are going to round off this, then it means what is going to remain this side, it will be cancelled out because it is going to be rounded off. Then from there, we shall say nine is what we need to round off. So I'll come to my number line and I identify where nine is. I'll say zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is my nine. I'll have to put there a star. I'm putting there a star purpose to identify the required digit. After identifying the required digit, then I will have to continue and say 9 is in the upper, upper limit, not lower. It is in the upper limit. Hence, hence, adds hence adds one hence adds one so let's 
copy the number the way it is. We have remained with the seven, nine, two, nine, nine, eight, six. Well, seven million nine hundred twenty nine thousand nine hundred eighty six. So we are going to round off today nearest hundred uh, ten thousand. This is the required place value. So we are rounding everything to this ten thousand. Ten thousand. Whereby we have said nine is in the upper class limit. It will rhymes between five to nine. It is just within that. It is within the range of five to nine. So if it is within that range, it means we are going to add one. But if it was zero to four, we could add zero. Then five to nine, we shall add one. So I will say, we are rounding this one off, it will come here, this nine, it will come here, and we add there one, then the rest we shall add there zero. And remember, once you round off, these ones are cancelled. Once you round off this nine, everything out here is cancelled. So as it is cancelled, we shall now come here and add our number, which will give us here zero, zero, zero zero two plus one it will give us three then nine plus zero it will give us nine finally we shall have here seven now we say one two three comma one two three comma so when you look at this number seven million nine hundred twenty nine thousand nine hundred eighty Six will be rounded up or will be rounded to seven millions nine hundred thirty thousand. That is what will happen. Then last I will say there are four seven millions nine hundred twenty-nine thousand nine hundred and eighty six is rounded is rounded off to seven millions nine hundred thirty thousand. Oh. Then I will underline my answer. That is what is done and is what is required to be done. That is how we handle it, that's how we round off. What we need to consider so much is the two classes and the place values so much. We need to look at the required place value. We need to look at the lower class limit. We need to look at the, uh, the second class limit. The first class limit moves from zero to four, whereby it adds zero. Then the second class limit, it also moves from five to nine, and always it adds one. Please put the required place value in consideration and the number on your right. Consider digits on left and right. Rounding off, consider the place, the required place value. So much. As I wind up my, with my lesson, I would also require, or I would also wish to leave you with some few numbers to try them out as your activity. So the first one, the first one, the first one, the first one will be, let's look at this activity. The first one will be round of, round of the following, round of the following, to the required find, well, find round of the following to the required plus
So then add the plus value. Round off the following to the required place value. Number one, we have seven, eight, seven, eight, two, three. Ten to ten. Then we have number two as seven, eight, two, two, three, four. Two hundred. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. So number three will be three, four, three, six, eight, four, three. I want you to round off this to the nearest million. Two nearest million. Two nearest nearest million. Number four, our five, seven, two, three, two, the nearest to the nearest thousands. Thousands. The nearest thousands. So this will be your numbers. You can also try them out and see if your answers will rhyme with our answers very soon we shall be seeing how we shall be having a system where we shall be giving you feedback on our exercise after doing it so what you do keep following within the period of two weeks or one week you'll be updated always follow our program it will help you to achieve something don't forget to always follow our teaching more so the candidates outside there will really advise you to keep following. Things will change, things will normalize. Meanwhile, stay home. If you know you don't have anything to make you move, the situation is slowly, slowly coming down. We know if we follow the directives, things will work out. If you're moving around, put on your mask. Don't just carry it in the hands. Use it in a proper way. Put it in a proper way. Don't just carry it in your pockets, then you say, I have a mask. Always stay tuned. I wish you well. Thank you.